Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design a pricing table for your blogger website. So this is how it looks. We have three plans over here and when we hover over them, we have this uh, animation and uh, we also have these buttons over here. So when we click on these buttons, we can take the user to any page we want. And uh, then we also have this tag over here called best. So if you think that this is the best plan for most of the users, then uh, you can put this tag over here as well. So let's see how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS and then we will see how to add this to our blogger post. So let's get started. I have created a blank folder called pricing table and I have opened it with VS code. So let's go ahead and create the files for our project. So first of all, we need an HTML file. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on this button over here for new file. And we'll create a file called index.html. And we'll create one more file for our styles. So we'll name it style.css. So let's start with the HTML. In VS Code, we have an extension called Emmet already installed so you can just type exclamation and press tab and you get this HTML5 boilerplate code so let's link our style.css file over here and let's start the markup of our design now first of all we'll create a division with the class of pricing container so all our plans will be inside this division so for each of the plans, we'll have divisions with classes of plan and uh, in that we will have an H2 and for the first plan, we have the name basic. So let's open this in our browser and see how it looks. I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So I can just open this live on our browser and uh, we can see the heading over here. Now the next thing we want is the pricing. So we'll create another division with a class of price and in that we'll type $29.99 and if we take a look at this uh, right here, by the way this is also responsive so we can see that when we have a lesser width of uh, our browser, we have the pricing table vertical. Alright, so here we have the pricing and we can see the pricing is written here in big font and uh, then we have per month in smaller font. So we need to have a different class for this part right here. So let's just add a span for that. So we'll just type span and we'll also give it a class called duration. And here we'll type per month all right now the next thing we need are the features so these are the features of this plan so let's go ahead and add an unordered list for that so we'll type ul and we'll also give it a class called features and in that we'll have some list items first of all we have speed and I'll just duplicate this three more times and I'll just fill in these details Alright, now the last thing we need is uh, the button to get the plan. So for the button, we will use an anchor tag so that we can send the user to any page we want. Alright, so here we will have an anchor tag and we'll also give it a class called get plan button. And for the href, we will just type hash for now. You can just type the page you want the user to be taken over here. And uh, inside the anchor tag, we'll just type get plan. All right, so that's it with our first plan. So let's copy this whole plan division from here and we'll paste it two more times. And uh, let's change some text over here. So we have entered all our information over here. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, to add a class for this best value tag. 
so we have the best value for the gold plan so let's go to the gold plan and uh, for this division we'll also give a class called best value so you can name these classes anything you want so we'll go to our CSS and style a division with classes of best value and plan so that's basically it with our HTML now let's go to our CSS and start styling our page alright so here I am in my CSS so first of all let's target the division called pricing container and for the pricing container we will give a margin of 50 pixels for top and bottom and 0 for left and right so that even if we have some text or some other content on the page we'll have some spacing for this pricing container now we'll also give it a font family of Roboto and next we will set the display to flex so this is basically a way for us to arrange things on our web page so we can see that when we set the display to flex all our divisions are stacked horizontally now we'll also give it a maximum width of 800 pixels and uh, then we'll also set a line height of 1 now we are setting the line height over here because a lot of themes may have different line heights so it may affect our design so we'll overwrite the value of line height for this pricing container now let's move on to the plan division inside the pricing container so first of all we'll text align it to the center and we'll give a background color and we'll set a linear gradient and uh, we will set it to 125 degrees and then we'll have two colors the first one is 36F4DE and the next color is 4094D6 alright now let's set some margin over here for each of these plans so we'll set the margin as 0 for top and bottom and 8 pixels for left and right now if we just give a background color to our pricing container we can see that the pricing container division has a larger width but these plans are not taking up all the width so for that we have an option called flex and we can set it to a number so if you set it to the same number for all the plans then all of them will take the entire width so now we can see all the width is taken by these plans so let's remove this background color now we'll also give a box shadow and we'll set the box shadow to 0, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, minus 2 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.4. And we'll also be adding some hover animation. So for that, we'll just set the transition to 400 milliseconds. So we'll have a smooth animation. Now let's target the H2 inside the pricing container. And for the H2, we will have a margin of 0, font size of 32 pixels, padding of 20 pixels, and the color of the text to 143A46. Now let's style the price. So pricing container price. And for the price, we will set a padding of 16 pixels. We'll set the font size to 36 pixels. And the font weight to bold and the background color to dark gray and the color of the text to light gray now let's style the duration so we'll type pricing container duration and for duration we will set the font size to 16 pixels and the font weight to normal we just give a spacing in between these two so we'll go to our index.html and uh, before the span we'll just give a space and we also have different prices for different plans so for the last one we have a price of 49 and for the gold plan we have a price of 99 and it is per year alright so let's go back to our CSS and continue with our styling now let's style the features so pricing container features and the features is basically the UL so we will just set the list style to none so we'll just get rid of these bullets and then set the font size to 20 pixels and a padding of 0 and the color of the text to 131313 
and let's style the list items inside features and uh, we'll give them a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom and uh, 0 for left and right now we'll style the button so pricing container get plan button and first of all we'll remove this underline from here so we'll set the text decoration to none and uh, then we'll set the color of the text to 2 to 2 and uh, we'll give a margin bottom of 24 pixels and the margin bottom is not being applied to our anchor tags that's because anchor tags are basically inline elements so we'll just set the display to inline block all right so now we can see we have the margin so we'll set the background color to transparent and uh, we'll set a border of 2 pixels solid and we'll give it a color of 292929 and let's give it a border radius of 8 pixels and padding of 8 pixels and 32 pixels and uh, let's also change the font size to 18 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and uh, the font weight to bold now we'll be having hover animations for these buttons so we'll give it a transition of 400 milliseconds for smooth animation now we also need to give a best value tag over here for the gold plan so if you go to our index.html for the gold plan we have already given a class called best value so here we will type pricing container dot plan dot best value and this will target a division which has classes of both plan and best value now we'll use a pseudo element to add the tag over here so we'll use the after pseudo element so for that you have to type colon colon after so here you have to type content and uh, here you have to type the content so I'll just type best over here so now we can see best is being written over here after the element now don't worry about the positioning because we'll set the position as absolute so we can position it anywhere we want so we'll just type position absolute and we'll set the top to 4 pixels now here you can see that the position is relative to the body and not to this plan division so we'll go to our plan division and here we'll type position relative so now we can see that the position of the after is relative to the plan and we'll give a right position of minus 34 pixels so I have tried and tested different values over here and I came up with this conclusion so you can go ahead and test different values for top and right and set the position according to your needs alright so now we'll rotate our text so we'll type transform and uh, rotate so we'll rotate it 40 degrees and we'll give it a padding of 10 pixels and 48 pixels and uh, we'll give a font weight of bold and the background color of C51E1E and we'll set the color of the text to white all right that's it with our after pseudo element now we don't want to display the tag outside the plan division so we'll go to our plan division and uh, here we'll add one more line of code overflow hidden so now we can see that everything outside our plan division is being hidden now let's go ahead and style the hover and uh, first of all we'll type pricing container plan hover and uh, we will change the transform and we'll set the translate y to minus 8 pixels so now when we hover over this we have this transform and we'll also change the box shadow and we'll set it to 0 6 pixels 16 pixels 4 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 All right now when we hover over these we have the correct hover animation now let's also add a hover animation to these buttons so we'll type pricing container get plan button colon hover and we'll set a background color of RGBA 255 255 255 and 0 
Now we have the hover animation for the buttons as well. Now the last thing we need to do is make it responsive. So we'll add a media query. So we'll type at media max width of 740 pixels. And uh, when we have that width, we'll set the pricing container to flex direction column. So let me just decrease the width of our browser. All right, so now we have these plans stacked one below the other. Now let's also add a margin to the plans. So we'll set a margin of 16 pixels and zero. Now that's it with our design. Now let's copy this to our blogger website. I have logged into my blogger account. Let's go to theme and click on customize and then click on advanced and then go to add CSS and let's copy the CSS over here. So let's select everything from here and copy and paste it right here and then click on apply to blog. All right, now let's click on back to blogger. Now let's go to one of our posts and we'll add our pricing container HTML over here. So let's go to review and click on edit. And this is our post. Let's go to HTML. And just after this heading, we will add our pricing container. Now inside this division, we will paste our HTML code. So let's go to our code editor and we'll copy this pricing container division from here. And we'll paste it right here and then click on update. Now let's view that post. And here we can see our pricing container and everything looks all right. Let's see the mobile version. And we also have the mobile version right here. So everything is working all right. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.